Tracking coronavirus tonight, the University of Tennessee COVID-19 Task Force laying out what it calls best practices for every campus that would allow students to return in the fall. This while maintaining health and safety guidelines, things like social distancing in the classroom. The challenge here for UT leaders, organizing and implementing a task. Six on your side reporter Madison Keeby learned more about today. Madison, UT leaders already have ideas on how fall might be looking for students. That's right, Lori, and really it's a work in progress. It's what leaders are calling a new normal. UT Knoxville Chancellor Dondi Plowman tells me the challenge is how they implement the necessary changes in the timeline they have by the fall. The leaders are up against the clock, so to speak. Plowman tells me they're asking departments and faculty to plan curriculum that can be offered in all forms, face to face, online, or a mix of both without compromising. It's a new normal. We got to get through this and it and we need everybody working at it together. University of Tennessee Knoxville Chancellor Dondi Plowman already taking those best practices presented by the UT Systems COVID-19 Task Force and applying them to the Knoxville campus. We're very interested in the idea around um, uh, how we would uh, use classrooms uh, so that a third of the students come one day, a third the next, a third the next and the other two thirds are watching. Changing the schedule, an option. Perhaps starting a couple days early, not uh, having classes during, not having fall break. That's very attractive, that's one idea. Haven't decided to do it. There's also options that include testing for COVID-19 for everyone, staff and students. Yes, we want students tested before they move into dorms. We want faculty, staff and students to be tested somewhat regularly throughout the semester working on those plans as well. Plowman says UTK is prepared to have isolation units that if students show symptoms or are waiting for test results, they can stay. She says there's space. When we say you need to wear facial coverings, got to do it. UT system president Randy Boyd says the health and safety changes won't be reflected in tuition. Uh, the chancellors and I recommended to our advisory boards that, that uh, we keep tuition a zero percent increase this year. The advisory boards uh, deliberated and uh, agreed and recommended that back to me. I'm now re recommending that to the board of trustees in June. Now, both Plowman and Boyd are adamant that for any of these plans to be successful, it will take the entire UT community taking part, like wearing masks and keeping social distance. Now into the summer, Plowman says hundreds of faculty will actually be trained on how to teach classes using both face-to-face -face and online learning techniques. Lori. Madison, thank you. And student health services are set to be the first line of defense for managing any COVID-19 infections on UT campuses. The task force recommends resources for mental health services be increased. The reasoning here to help students with concerns related to the pandemic, things like isolation and social distancing measures.